Ah, it's been years since I've been to Stardew Valley. As I was riding the bus back into town, I never realized the depths that I would sink to. At first, I tried to be a farmer again, I really did. Tried to blend in with the town, participate in events, second place. Are you kidding me? You let the produce guy get the blue ribbon? This contest is so freaking rigged. I helped out at the community center, tried to get that off the ground. Of course, they didn't believe me that I could see little nature spirits running around. Lewis, how are you so skeptical about supernatural things? You know this town has a wizard living in it, right? In the end though, farming is just too much work for too little money. Man, do I hate watering crops individually. Who thought this was good game to- never mind. It wasn't enough for me. No, no. I have expensive tastes. I want fine clothes, big properties, solid gold trash cans. I needed more. And soon enough, I figured out a way to get it. It all started one day in the mines, when I had a flash of inspiration, so to speak. Once I had a taste, I knew I needed more. This was it. I knew this was what I needed to do. For once in my life, I had coins jingling in my pocket. Or that might have just been my ears ringing. God, I really hope that's not permanent. Farming is for chumps. Mining's where it's at. Of course, the town didn't really understand at first. They complained. Said I was polluting the water with mining residue and monster carcasses, but you can't blame that on me. This is a perfectly normal amount of sewage for a town of 30 people. Luckily, the nature spirits knew a thing or two about bus repairs, apparently. Kind of questionable, but I'll roll with it. And so I was able to go out to the desert, where I was able to continue in earnest without anyone complaining. Finally, I was rolling in it. Nothing could stop me. It kind of reminded me of the Lorax, you know? You remember that story? Where the hero goes out to the unspoiled wilderness to bring wealth and industry to everyone, but some preachy carrot man with a mustache keeps trying to stop him? I really take inspiration from that. I was neglecting the farm, but I didn't care anymore. Plus I got some sprinklers, which makes everything pretty hands-off, honestly. Had money, had free time, was finally able to play some arcade games. My god, this is impossible. Finally, I was stepping up in life. Spruced up the homestead a little, upgraded my house. Also bought a hat from a cat. I wasn't so sure about that one, but man, that cat was one hell of a salesman. I know I should stop, but I just couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to stop. I know it's unhealthy. I know this is compulsive. And I know that, yes, I know, my ears are bleeding. Just give me some medicine already. Come on, I can pay for it. Once I had everything, the wealth just kind of piled up. I built some chests in my room and stacked up my gold and metals. Each night I would just stare at it and stare at it, thinking as I go to bed. Was it all worth it in the end? Did I feel fulfilled? Where do I go from here? Eh, whatever. <laughs> Still beats being a fisherman.